looking to take a shot, gets knocked off the puck, moves it back to the point. Vlasic now finds it for a one-timer. What a one-timer there. Vlasic to Malkin for the 2-1 lead. Oh my god, that was a shot. All right, so how's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another Versus episode here today on the channel. Today, we're going to be taking left-handed NHL players and putting them up against right-handed NHL players, seeing which dominant hand is, is going to come out on top in this one. Um, so this could go either way, really. Not really sure what's going to happen, but let's go ahead and look at the teams. So for team left-handed, obviously, these teams are going to be super stacked. The lowest overall, Nikita Kucherov there at 90, but still just insane. Crosby, Tarasenko, Kane, Goudreau, like so good defensively same way just absolutely stacked it's ridiculous and in net for them is carry price so that is for sure gonna help out quite a bit now here's team right-handed still very good shifley and carter being the two lowest overalls on the team um a couple 89 there uh but still ovechkin stamko sagan like still a very good team defensively i'd say they probably have the advantage defensively um just better defensemen are right-handed in the NHL, I guess. But they definitely do not have the advantage in net, as Steve Mason's going to be their starter. He's really nothing compared to Carey Price. Um, but still, this one could go either way. Let's go ahead, jump into the game, and see who comes right, so out. So here we are, going off first face-off here now. Crosby going up against Stamkos, and it looks like... Uh, you're going to have the lefties going to go ahead and win that one right off the bat. So Tarasenko there carrying it in Back the zone. Back to Goudreau. And Goudreau is going to be carrying it now. Looking to get it into the zone. Finds Malkin. And they cannot get the puck into the zone right now. These are two fairly matched teams. Goudreau making some space with it now. Finds Malkin. Shot and a huge glove save there by Steve now, Mason. Kopitar coming in for the lefties. What's he going to do? Moving the puck down low in front and can't get the shot off. We have a goal. But is it going to get waved off? There could potentially be goaltender interference right here. Subban and Giroux on him. Puck goes in front. And it totally looks like there's goaltender interference. Taze totally looks like he interferes with Mason. But we're going to see the call from That upstairs. one is, in fact, waved off on goaltender interference. Jonathan Taze knocked over Mason. Not a good goal. Shifley so go. with it. Shifley finding Giroux. Who gets absolutely creamed in front of his bench by Tavani Malkin. Now. Four team left. The lefties coming with it now. Max to Ben. That one gets blocked in the middle there. Weber can't get a hold of it. And Goudreau is going to put that one in the back of the net. Johnny Goudreau grabs the puck in front there. He's going to bury that one past Steve Mason to give him, him and his team the one goal lead. Johnny Goudreau just absolutely got a hold of that one. And it made it to the back. He's going to dump that one around the boards. Back to play it is Goudreau, who gets absolutely leveled down Ovechkin, there. Ovechkin, Kessel, Stamkos. Can this line get it done for the team? Last minute of play in the first period. Carlson back to Burns. Shot gets blocked there. Stamkos gives it right back to Brent Burns, who loses control of that one. Goes down low to Ovechkin. Ovechkin's going to find Kessel. Back to the point to Carlson. Back to Burns. Back to Carlson. Carlson is back to Burns. In front. And it can't the one-timer off. Stamkos picks it up. Ovechkin buries the rebound there. On a deflection, he knocked it down out of midair off of Stamkos' shot. And he ties that one with two and a half seconds left in the first period. They don't call him one of the best players in the world for the tie game in this game. Uh, Kane gets absolutely leveled there by Steven Stamkos, who then banks the puck off Kane to try to get it out. That doesn't Bobbling go anywhere. It. Phil Kessel on a potential breakaway. Can he get on the horse? He's going to hold back as he goes across. And what a shot. <laughs> that would have totally beat Bryce, but he couldn't bury that one in the Patrick back of the Kane net. into the zone now. Finds Jamie Benn looking to take a shot. Gets knocked off the puck. Moves it back to the point. Vlasic now finds it for a one-timer. What a one-timer there. Vlasic to Malkin. For the 2-1 lead, oh my god, that was a shot. That was a shot and a Eric half. Carlson now. Eric Carlson moving it around. Bergeron finds Sagan, but he can't beat Price there. Goes in front, and he missed the one-timer. Offer Carlson back to Burns now. Pavelski back to Burns. They're moving it back and forth. Sagan, oh, what a glove save there by Carey Price. They're going to win that one. Giordano finds Kopitar, who's going to find Nikita Kucherov carrying that one. Windmills it, goes across to Taves, and Mason makes a glove save to keep him Batted in his out game. of the air. Doughty, Doughty, that one gets blocked. Shifley now trying to take a shot. Body's going down. Shifley keeping the puck in. He's going to send that one around the horn. Carter picks that one up, and it stays in the corner. Carter all over him right now. Jeff Carter still holding onto the puck. He can't keep Duncan Keith from not getting it away from him. 
Duncan Keith now pulling up against the boards. The righties' pressure is absolutely astounding right now. Weber has it. Back to Doughty. Back to Weber. Shot. And Shea Weber buries that one on a slap shot from hell. Shea Weber is going to tie this one up on what an absolute of a shot. Like, that was so powerful. From Doughty and Kessel, Shea Weber makes this one a tie again. Tarasenko taking this one out of the zone. Tarasenko now making a move. Trying to protect that puck. He is going to Crosby, and Crosby puts that one in the back of the net. I was not expecting that quick shot pass play, but it beats Steve Mason. Sidney Crosby knows that all too well. The Penguins lighting up the Flyers, and we have a one-goal game once again for the left. Then finding Bergeron, who gets absolutely leveled there, and we have and Alexander Ovechkin. Here he comes. The great eight, and he scores with an absolute stellar move, which such steez. With such steez, Alexander Ovechkin skates backwards, pulls up for the slap shot, beats Carey Price, top corner, no problem. Let's look at it again. There you go. Skates backwards, slap shot, and he just cannot get anywhere close to that one. Ovechkin's going to tie Ovechkin's this up one up against the boards, loses control of it, and it's going to be a foot race now. Who's going to get there? Pavelski on a potential breakaway. Pavelski, he can't beat Carey Price, though. He shuts the door, and Goudreau is back up the ice the other way. Passing that one across to Sidney Crosby. Back to Johnny Hockey. Low shot. Oh, it almost sneaks through Mason. He grabs a hold of that one. Keeps that one across from crossing the line. And we still have a tie. Burns and Ryan Getzlaff helping him out. Getzlaff now has the puck, and he's coming up the offensive zone. That's a big guy out there on the ice. He's not going to let go of that puck easily. Across for the one-timer, but a huge save there by Carey Price. He's going to sit on top of that one. Absolutely robs him of that goal. Oh, my gosh. That was ridiculous. Look at it again. There you go. Carey Price absolutely splits out for that one to keep it out of the back of the net. It doesn't get any better He's than lose that. lose that draw, but end up getting the puck anyways. Blake Wheeler to Claude Giroux gets absolutely destroyed. Oh, it's off the post. Shifley's shot goes off the post, and that is going to hurt. Shifley with it, and Shifley's coming in hot. Toe drags there. What a shot by Shifley, but Price makes an easy save with that glove. Says and he's going to take the shot on Price, but Price makes the save. Backstrom Moot loses it. Weber to Shifley in front, and Puck's loose. We're going to have a power play for the lefties here on a hook. And Keith call. losing control. Bergeron just trying to dump it, but it's not working. And Patrick Kane now with the puck. Patrick Kane losing it in the corner. Gets absolutely thrown there by P.K. Subban. Bergeron's going to throw that one over the boards. We have delay a game. Five on three. This is our best chance to see a goal here by the left. Cross to Hedman into the center now. Can't do anything with it there. Just goes over the defenseman's head. And team left, or the lefties, are going to have to go back to play it. Giordano now. He's going to find Tarasenko. Vladimir Tarasenko is in. And what's he going to do? Make space with it around. And gets absolutely crushed by Burns. Who's going to just throw that one out of the zone. Giro there to pick it up. And Giordano's in now. Mark Giordano into the middle. Tavares! Tavares beats Steve Mason. And gives the lefties a one-goal lead with... Three minutes left in the game. It's 4-3. A nice pass there by Mike Giordano. is just going to beat Steve Mason high. And Tavares is going to have this one to feel good about. Look at it again. There you go. There he takes the shot. Mason can't do much about that. That was a good shot. That was a shooter shot. There are by Word Velasics. Finds Johnny Goudreau. Goudreau now just dumping it around the boards as he gets tossed right, He's won an important one there. Kessel moves back to Weber. And that one's deflected, but it's loose in front. Hedman grabs it, though. Melkin with the puck now to find Jamie Benn. Sanko now. Sanko Koros to Crosby. Crosby to Bergeron. Almost turns that one over instantaneously. Pavelski now with it, trying to dump it around, but he loses control of that one. Kane still gets it in the corner, though. Back to the point. Bergeron to Carlson. The goalie's coming out. They're getting the extra man. Carlson moves it to Sagan. Across! And Carey Price gets there in time. Thought for sure we were going to see a goal there. Moving it back to the point. Carlson shot. And again, big save there by Price. Tarasenko now with it. If he can get it out, they can get the empty net goal. Put this one away. And he gets killed there. It's not going to happen. Brent Burns not allowing this one to go in yet. Ovechkin on the ice now. Anything can happen. Pavelski can't get it in. Carlson. Ovechkin's got seconds left to do something with this one. It's going to get turned over. Burns now. Puck loose. And that's going to be it. A huge hit there to end that game, though. The lefties are going to take it. So there you have it, folks. There is your answer that you guys were looking for. If a team of all left-handed NHL players took on a team of all right-handed NHL players, who would win? It'd be a tough game, but a tough and close game, but the left-handed players would come out on top by one goal. This is one hell of a game, and if you guys enjoy these type of videos, be sure to check out the playlist. It's got tons of them in it. It's got all sorts of these versus videos. 
But other than that, I want to thank you guys for watching. Remember to subscribe to the channel, leave a like to the video, turn on post notifications, and I will talk to you guys next time.